guys how are you all doing out there hope we are well I'm all right thank you for asking firstly I'd like to say thank you to all those who have recently subscribed to me um, who those who've been following me commenting um, very much appreciated but anyway without further ado thank you um, today I thought I would carry on from my autumn fall sewing vlog and I decided I wanted to kind of strike while the iron's hot you know sometimes you have all these great ideas and you go yeah I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and then you lose momentum very quickly and you go no I can't be bothered now so I didn't want to do that I wanted to make sure that I had something to keep me going and one I start off with something a little bit different um, I don't normally do this I've decided that I really love this jumper an H&M purchase from many many years back um, but bless her uh, she's um she's old and she needs to retire her shoes I've got pools where I don't understand how I've got pools on them she's stained bless her I've washed her so many times now that the three percent wool that was in here has completely gone and I feel like I'm wearing a Brillo pad at times so I love the style it's a, it's a raglan style turtleneck so I thought why don't I give her this lovely old lady here one more chance how can I how can I revive her and I thought why don't I take a pattern from her and make other jumpers from it keeping the raglan sleeve and the turtleneck and the length everything is good on it take the pattern from here and she can live on in uh, jumpers new so in my last video well I said my last video my sewing full video I produced a cable knit fabric and I was talking about you know chunky chunky turtlenecks I think turning this lady into a jumper out of this fabric it's got to be done hasn't it it really has so what I'm going to do um, in this video is I'm going to talk you through my process of how I got the pattern from this um, any tips I might have um, any observations that I might have I have already pre-washed this for what it was worth you don't necessarily have to do that with knits because they're stretchy um, but yeah this whole video will be about turning this jumper into this jumper so stick around and find out see you on the other side
Oh, here she is. Poor old girl. She's done me proud. She's done me proud. She's done me proud. Done me proud. But alas, she's becoming unwearable. And I think what I've achieved here is a really good homage to this old lady. She will live on in these pattern pieces. Um, but what do you think? I really like it. Um, it's really simple to do. Um, what I would say, a couple of things I've learned, is when you lay out the pattern piece, don't just accept what you've got when you trace it out. You saw me tracing out um, around the seam lines and everything. Don't accept that as your final um, pattern. Measure, measure, measure. Make sure that when you've got it laid out flat from seam to seam, so from seam here to seam here, is the same le the same width as what you've drawn out. You may need to adjust it a little bit, you know, take certain points. So on the underarms, well, how how wide is it there? Middle, how wide is it there? I mean, this is reasonably straight up and down. There's a little bit of tapering, but not by much. Um, so take take time on making sure that you've got everything. Um, the raglan sleeve is quite unusual in, when you're tracing it out. I had to think about how I was going to do it. And I actually did a mock-up, not in the same similar fabric. I didn't have any available. Um, but I just need to make sure that all this was going to kind of fit together. And it did pretty well. Um, a couple of little odd oddities have turned up around the tops. They seem to kind of go in scallops. I think I didn't cut it properly. But it's really minor. There you go, that's the back pattern. It's only four pieces. Back on, cut on the fold. Front cut on the fold. Two, you cut the neck twice. And you cut the raglan sleeve twice. What else have I learned? It, this pattern actually turned out far bigger than what I took from here. Um, because I added seam allowance thinking I needed to because obviously when something is sewn together it has no seam allowance. I don't think I needed to do that. This is way bigger and way longer. <laughs> Hold on a second, look at this. It's pretty big. I, I love it, don't get me wrong. But what I might do is I might just, with the exception of the top here, I'll definitely keep the... um definitely keep the seam allowance here I might just take off the seam allowance because when you make make it with knit fabrics anyway they're always a bit stretchier so you've got a little bit of leeway um, but I might try that next time and see how that goes because I love it but I think it's a little too big but I really like it I'm really pleased with it it's, it is really simple definitely give it a go um, the more experienced you are, because most of the biggest thing about sewing is problem solving. How am I going to make this fit? How am I going to make this work? What have I done here? So if you're more advanced in your sewing or you feel more confident in your sewing, give it a go, find a t-shirt, find a top shirt. It's a little bit more difficult, they're, they're more advanced. I personally wouldn't take one unless I really, really love the shirt. Um, but definitely give it a go because it's so much fun. Um, and once you get it right, yeah, I would say you've got yourself a pattern for life. Anyway, guys, thank you to all those new subscribers and um, to all those who've been interacting with me, following me on Instagram. Thank you so much. The internet is vast and infinite and to get any views, I'm always so grateful for them. So thank you so much. This has been a Crazy Cat Lady Productions. You've been watching an unoriginal idea. Until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.